Hello and uh, welcome to this unboxing video uh, with me, Jon Manker and Phil Lachlan. And we're gonna unbox uh, the production sample of PAX Renaissance 2nd Edition, which means this is the game done by the printers as the printers are making the final game. So this is our test X2. Uh, there it is. And it's, so we're gonna rip it open and look what's inside. So, and I'm gonna... Fresh from long pack. Fresh from long pack. And oh. see what it looks like. We've got this little um, envelope of spare parts. Are we supposed to be... Oh, that's the that's the metal coins. I'll actually change to the other the other camera, and I apologize for sound quality. And so we're doing this because of various reasons, uh, not in your and using just the phone. So so, anyways, we need to do it uh, fast as well, not to delay anything. Uh, so he managed to destroy this package completely. Hey, I uh, they don't pay me enough for this. But what's in here is the. So there's a zip bag with two zip bags, and there are the coins, and there are the I think they're pretty gems. substantial. Definitely, and especially... Metal, the, they sound nice. Sound nice, look nice, feel nice. And uh, this this is the deluxe add-on, so these, all these coins... Oh, that's for the deluxe one. We've yeah. also got these little gems. Yeah, that's for, for five coins, instead of red plastic... Uh, Discs that way. Okay, so those uh, count as the files. Now let's open this part. Yeah. Okay. There it is, with the new and improved cover. Uh, yeah, I think this looks like Paul, our production manager, but he denies it. <laughs> he do? Yeah, let's put it like this so we get more yeah. light. There's some reflections here, but uh, it looks uh, a bit lighter in reality, actually. But yeah, there we have it. Yes, I insisted on those galleys, the Venetian galleys in the background. Let's look at the back. Yeah, let's look at the back. And here's well, the art um, from... from uh, uh, the church scene that Josephine did, uh, it's now... Yeah, Josephine Strand, our, one of our artists. Yeah. And... Oh, pretty substantial. Yeah. Let's see here. Yeah, this is, this is good. And here are the rules. Book, Here's uh, book two. two, player's guide. And a much more illustrated uh, and not as dense layout as... How to preserve my investment. Uh, game two. So let's put complete playthrough. It's a, well, maybe not complete. Only three turns. And then strategy guide. This is... Um, is it better to invest in the East or West? Um, there's a thing from Cole, Cole Weary in here. Um, this is a solitaire stuff. Here's some essays by Matt, one of the, my son, one of the originators of the game or the concept, the PAX concept. And here's a, something I'm banking from myself, Phil Eklund. Oh, and we've got some uh, awards here. Yeah. So it actually, uh, the golden, uh, it's a nominee and a finalist for Golden Elephant and the Goblin Magnifico. Here's book one. Also, half of every spread is uh, just for illustrations of the examples. Yeah, and I think that works pretty well. It, uh, also, footnotes. The footnotes are important as you... This is, that's your, and I mean, here, you designed yeah, yeah, yeah. mainly to be able to put footnotes in it. That's, that's the prime objective, right? I, uh, I, I won't comment on that, but... Um, Could you give a footnote on that? Here we <laughs> have some art prints. <laughs> yeah, that's... that's uh, From The Josephine. art prints, they are not Kickstarter exclusive, but they are first printing exclusive. So they won't be in any other printings 
than the first print run. But we do print more games than were backed on Kickstarter. So, so this is at the Goldsmiths? Yeah, here's the, here's the church scene again, and then there's the Goldsmiths scene. Um, and so, so she used some from the Kickstarter video, but worked quite a bit on them to improve them further. Um, so they, are... they can be, they will be in the first games found in 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 our web store, store shop, and also in the first games sold on, in in stores and such, because the whole first print run has these. Anyway. These are player aids. Yeah. There's a battle table and Operation One Shots. Yeah, and I know this got a lot of work done on it to make the battle more uh, yes. uh, easier to discern was, the, the battle a, effects and stuff. Yeah, a lot of streamlining. Now, these are the player placards here. So yeah. there's up to four players in the game. They've also got their own shields. There's a House of Medici with the five famed five balls. Um, and uh, we also have... Uh, um, Marcioni's and the Fugger's and the um, uh, the French magnet. So let's see if we can open up the board. Yeah. Oh, there's lots of goodies down here. Yeah, there's a, and there's a plastic inlay here to keep things in place. Uh, designed by by Long Pack actually themselves. They usually do these designs. Um, so this board is optional actually. The board as it is, yes, you could play the game completely without the board. Um, but And to be able to do that, we have duplicated these. Um, the map state as it starts is available as cards. And then when you, you change the map state during gameplay, you add cards here. But if you want to play completely without the board and just remembering with all these places for the market, for these ones, if you play without is... the board, it's a lot more portable. Yeah, and then it becomes much more portable. And then we added those 10 original setup uh, cards because that's um, otherwise not available. So here are the cards. And uh... I'm looking at the Western cards here. Yeah, the quality is good on these ones, actually. They're, they're, they feel like the other ones, like High Frontier, for example, very sturdy. That's good. And you can do these in a splay sort of fashion. Um, you can place them, the Western cards like this, in order to um, only display the ops here. Yeah, which would cover the, the, the immediates. These are the immediate um, one-shot effects. Um, the reformation mm. and the agents you place those you only that information you only need when you first play it it's um, during the course of the game in your tableau um, it becomes more significant uh, the the um, ops icons and the location yeah so this is a, a new feature for the second edition if you crack open one of the the east ones yeah, um, we could also take. So I will take here a one of the. Let's take your your beloved Medici up here. Yes, Medici. And then these Founders are punch outs. So uh, then we can see how this is uh, re ma matching up really nicely in this okay. edition of the Let's game. supposing. So you have your player here. You are Medici. Supposing you are the Medici and you've. Um, Got the Grim into your corner. Uh, uh, the Grim, Savids, and the Dervishes. Uh, the, uh, heavily invested in Eastern mysticism. You'd place it on, I think, on this side. Uh, yeah. No, I think uh, it should be oh, on the other East side. On the other side, yes. We almost can do this right. And then you put West over here. You have the Kingmaker. Freezy freedom and uh, the, the the French police and, and it's my hero Luther. Yeah, and then it becomes very uh, it, it's very uh, space efficient uh, this thing. And if you have a queen, you want to put a queen on top of a. a and these are the these are the empires. Uh, so this goes to be. Used in this playing fashion, you find them out on the board, uh, laying where they are supposed to be, 
and you can see that based on the location. Yes, they have special locations there. called thrones. So this allows for a rather different play than the first edition because um, the thrones you can have, uh, you could have um, sequestered units. You could have repressed units uh, in the thrones, not just in tableaus now. Can you uh, find a... Yeah, that's that's an important difference. Can you find a queen here? A queen. Okay, sure. And that our an Eastern English queen. English king can marry. Uh, these are Eastern, so. Uh, oh, sorry. It's, it's okay. our. It's, here's a here's an Eastern queen. And she's allowed to marry the, the England? No. She's no, not. not. That's going to be kind of tough in the Eastern that's going deck. To be tough. So where where is the Western deck? Well, I haven't hey, even you know, opened one of them yet. Well, here's the other one. There are a lot of cards in here. There is uh, three yeah. decks of cards. It includes all the all the cards from both the base game and the expansion. And the oh, I see some more of my heroes here: Machiavelli, um, um, Albert Durer. But where's the queen? Here's the queen, and she can marry into England. Yep. So let's say you you purchase her from the market, then the English queen goes on top here. So English king. The king, sorry. Uh, so you can still see which queen is there, and and he his white ribbon uh, aligns perfectly with white ribbon for the actions here. So so they. Don't so we've got King more. Edward the Fourth marrying uh, Margaret of Austria here. Yeah, so this and is all me, under uh, your puppeteering. Yeah, all under um, puppeteering, at least for the moment. But this changes so rapidly because the royals are so fickle. Yeah, they are. And the campaign here, uh, War of the Roses, um, and we've got vote um, appropriate in uh, England as this moment. Yeah, as uh, this that's where this coronated pair reside. Uh, so that's the card and how you lay them out. And then we have these pawns, uh, which are inspired by the chess pawns. Uh, so now they look more like it. Uh, these had some production problems uh, earlier in the sample. Now they have solved that. I can see because they made them much more clear here and thicker up here. So it's gonna be sturdy the horses were also improved uh, a bit we call them knights sorry where i knights. come from yes yeah, sorry the knights uh, and the small pawns these are pawns these are right pawns yeah. those are pawns these pawns serve as concessions and uh, but they could also be repressed serfs but this is what i was really waiting for i really wanted to see the ships the pirates right no i wanted to see the pirates the ships Oh, I thought you wanted to see the ship. Well, my mistake. So the, you should mention the religious colors, by the way, which are different. Yeah, so this is, uh, the religious colors here are green for, for the Muslim. Uh, it is uh, kind of a golden, uh, brownish golden. This is what gold becomes uh, when, you, when you print it using the Pantone colors. Um, unless you have metallic, but for, for various production reasons it became uh, so Catholic this, gold. Catholic gold, and then we have the Protestant red uh, over there. So that's the colors, and then we have uh, Muslim pirates here, mm -hmm. looking like that. Muslim and green. we have Protestant pirates, looking like this. Yes. And we have uh, the the Catholic. Catholic so this is like a Venetian galley, and this is a um, Ottoman galley, and this looks like a round ship. A Protestant round ship it could be British or Portuguese. Yeah, and up here we have some discs marking trade routes, the black and white ones, and we also have these ones which are money. But uh, I mean, if you want to play the real experience, you of course want. Uh, the, yeah, yeah, the real money. gold. The the max gold uh, to use in the. But game. still, they all have some substance to them. Yeah. There's one more deck. Are. But uh, we have more pawns in different places. Oh, and the bishops. And we also have the bishops, yeah. 
These are the things the Inquisitors go around and, you know, burning heretics and silencing cards and being really annoying and things you don't expect. Exactly. So, and these are all in the religious colors. Um, the pawns on the map, as those who back the game probably know by now, uh, the things on the map are in the religious colors, uh, whereas the things... Uh, where you also have um, your own player colors, which which the pawns represent. Okay, well, that's I about think that's it. Uh, that's about yeah. all. Well, thank you for um, seeing us in our. It's exciting for us um, just getting a, a finished product after all the work uh, that's gone into it. And believe me, there was a lot of work. Yeah, this was a game which hasn't. The intention was just to make a reprint. <laughs> As if we uh, ever could do that. Yeah, no, but, but yeah. we wanted to improve it. But when you start dragging one end of it, you kind of feel, oh, then we need to fix this and fix this. So uh, everything is redone with not many rules. There is for sure rule tweaks and all the tweaks from, from the... Yeah, but the rules are substantially the same. Substantially uh, the same. There's um, Main differences are just because of the use of the map and the use of thrones um, is able to change uh some of the dynamics of yeah, the game and the map has more map states now because we have several map cards for it. and the actions on the cards are rather cleaned up as well yeah but then all the cards were redone from from bottom up everything is new the, the illustrations are the same but the all the other things is is made yeah. in a more consistent manner and and following the new iconography and we try to make a good mix of of the clarity of the old one and more consistent and easier to discern way of putting it now these ones are completely a new design of course to have them in the middle and, and more stand out and the map is completely redone and all these pawns and, and all the other things the thing is that's still more or less the same it's, it's only these ones i think yeah the plastic uh, money yeah everything plastic, else mm. is is somehow changed and improved upon so i think it looks great actually it's a um, it's really good look. Oh, I just want to take a peek. There's also the victory cards here. Yeah, and the victory cards placed out there on the map. The comets, as they were. Yeah, the comets are two-sided. Yeah. East-West schism. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. And uh, uh, that's all from us for now. Thank you. Bye-bye.